Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we will discuss the following question and the question says Solve the inequalities. Part A is 2x plus 5 is less than 17. In the system of natural numbers Part B 5x plus 4 is greater than 21 in the system of natural numbers Part C 3x plus 7 is greater than equal to 1 in the system of integers. Part D. 4x minus 1 is less than equal to 15 where x belongs to the set containing the elements minus 5, minus 4, minus 2, 0, 1, 3, 5, 9. Let's start the solution now. In part A, we have the inequality 2x plus 5 is less than 17. Subtract 5 from both sides. So we get 2x plus 5 minus 5 is less than 17 minus 5. Since same quantity is being subtracted from both the sides, so the inequality remains same. This implies 2x is less than 12. Divide both sides by 2. So we get x is less than 12 divided by 2. Since both the sides are divided by a positive number, so the inequality remains the same. This implies x is less than 6. Now we have to find the solution in the system of natural numbers. So we have to find all the natural numbers which are less than 6. We know that natural numbers less than 6 are 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Hence x is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is our solution for the first part. Now in part B, we are given the inequality 5x plus 4 is greater than 21. Subtract 4 from both the sides. So we get 5x plus 4 minus 4 is greater than 21 minus 4. Here again there is no change in the inequality because same number is subtracted from both sides. This implies 5x is greater than 17. Now divide both sides. by 5. So we get 5x by 5 is greater than 17 by 5. This implies x is greater than 17 by 5 which implies x is greater than 3.4. Now we have to find the solution in the system of natural numbers. And we know that natural numbers
greater than 3.4 R Four, five, six, seven, eight, and so on till infinity. Therefore, the solution is x is equal to four, five, six, seven, eight, and so on. Now, in part C, we have the inequality: three x plus seven is greater than equal to one. Subtract seven from both sides. So we get three x plus seven minus seven is greater than equal to one minus seven. This implies three x is greater than equal to minus six. We now divide both sides by three. So we get three x divided by three is greater than equal to minus six divided by three. Since three is a positive number, so the inequality remains same. This implies. X is greater than equal to minus two. Now we have to find the solution in the system of integers, and we know that integers greater than or equal to minus two. R minus two minus one zero one two three and so on till infinity. Therefore, the solution is x is equal to minus two minus one zero one two three and so on till infinity. In part D, we are given the inequality: 4x minus 1 is less than equal to 15, where x belongs to the set containing the elements minus 5, minus 4, minus 2, 0, 1. Three, five, nine. Now we add one on both sides. So we get four x minus one plus one is less than equal to fifteen plus one. Since we have added same number on both sides. So the inequality remains the same. This implies 4x is less than equal to 16. We now divide both sides by 4. So we get 4x by 4. Is less than equal to 16 by 4. Since we have divided both the sides by a positive number, so the inequality remains the same. This implies x is less than equal to 4. We are given that x belongs to the set containing all these numbers. That is. X belongs to the set containing the elements minus five, minus four, minus two, zero, one, three, five, nine. 
Now we choose all those numbers from this set which are less than or equal to 4. These numbers are minus 5, minus 4, minus 2, 0, 1, 3. Therefore, the solution is x is equal to minus 5, minus 4, minus 2, 0, 1, 3. With this we end our session. Hope you enjoyed the session.